Yeah, what do you mean? Yourself, I mean, you've come from a, a family, a, quite a large family as well, mm-hmm. and winning there mm-hmm. as well, and you, you'll relate to what we're just saying there, this mm-hmm. sort of community, everybody knows everybody type of spirit. Well, we are quite a close family, and I'm, I, my father has depression, and I'm coming from a family member point of view, and it's so hard for a family member to see a strong man be depressed uh-huh. and and you can't understand why mm-hmm. and that's all he used to he always still he still got depression obviously but he'll say I can't explain it you can't help me and, and that is worse for us outside going I mm-hmm. want to help you and this is this is going for oh, years and years even to a, a place that he was hospitalised with it and I mean I was fighting against every doctor saying you know and they're saying you know you will come out it but I was just wanting a cure and you feel frustrated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was horrible looking in and mm-hmm. no being able to help and do things. And now I'm starting to understand it, but I still, a bit of me, when I see him going to his bed, just constantly, and I'm saying, and for like what you're saying, we're shouting, get up, get up, and we're pressuring more. Mm-hmm. This isn't you, this isn't you, get up. And I don't want to. And you're like, oh, it's near pressure. Aye, you know? mm-hmm. aye. And mm-hmm. it's so hard seeing him just mm-hmm. lie. Because mm-hmm. he's got so much, and he hasn't got reasons. Because I'll say, well, there's, there's nothing even to bother him, there's no money, there's no, everything's alright, why are you depressed? And you can't get it and say, do you mm-hmm. know, we're here for you. But no, mm-hmm. he just said, you know, I just would disappear if I could. And go, oh, no. No, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. Does, does depression have a trigger point for everybody? Is that what it's Well, that's happening? what well, he always says, he just hits that brick wall, and then there's no, no matter what, MD can say or do. I want to look at the elderly side now. We're looking at another side of the spectrum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and your experience, Michelle, you're working constantly, daily. Yep. I think from our point of view, I think a lot of the, the problems with the elderly is they don't have the choice because they're they're isolated, not through choice, through disability or, as you said, a lack of family, mm-hmm. the, the family support and confidence as well. You've dealt with, obviously, you can't talk about clients and things like that, you know, people that's lost a loved one. And they've always, for 50 or 60 years, been with that person. When that person's then taken away, mm-hmm. they don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. They don't know who to mm-hmm. turn to. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they've, they've had a partner for 40, yeah. 50 years. Partner dies, moves on, or whatever. And they're left themselves, and there's that loneliness and isolation. Comes in, and then manifests into a depression. Definitely. You Def- see that often? Very often. Mm-hmm. Very often. It, 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 and... Sometimes we're, we're, the service I work for is low level care. So we've got that as well sometimes when people are past our care level when we've actually got to go in and tell them that we can no longer give them that service, knowing, yes, we can signpost them on to other services, but doing that is heartbreaking, knowing that, you know, you're taking something away from them that, mm-hmm. that they love, but in the health and safety side and things like that, mm-hmm. you've got to do that and it, it's absolutely heartbreaking and then and the other flip of the coin, as you say, with the depression, the depression side, um, it's it's really heartbreaking. Um, we've same again, can't kind of talk much, but I mean, I've knew a few of them that if you could end their life, they, they would they would like jump, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they would jump at the chance. Um, and it's it's, it's a, a sad sad life thing, life isn't it? it? Yeah. I think a key thing. I remember a friend of mine who suffered from head injuries. Um, he was very good at music and very popular in the music scene. Went through a windscreen and it completely changed his life. Um, and with him, what's happened is, is that uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's heard somebody mention earlier on his dark moments. Mm-hmm. And the, this guy, I mean, if you meet him, he's so cheery, it's unbelievable. But he said, I could sit in a corner for three days, Eddie, and not come out of that corner. And just because of that, what's happened here? Mm-hmm.